Hi, my name is Nick Stepanov, and I'm running for Human Resources and Operations Commissioner for the CSA. Well, it wasn't an overnight decision. Uh, I've been involved in campus for about three years now, and uh, this year I got to join the CSA board, like I mentioned. And uh, while working on the board, I got to know its directors, uh, the executive and the staff, and I worked alongside with them on CSA Matters operations. I joined the, uh, the Finance Committee, the Policy Bylaw Review Committee, and I also sat and will sit on more hiring committees, which are, by the way, the Human Resources and Operations Commissioner committees in general. And so I got to know the current HR and O Commissioner, Josh Gaber, um, more in person, and uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, working with the exec, I feel they are doing a fantastic job, and I just want to continue it. And so once the election period came around, I decided to give it a head. There are probably two distinct experiences that I feel prepared me for this job directly. Uh, the first being my experience with the Guelph Campus Cooperative. This is my third year uh, on that, with that organization, and um, I'm its vice president at the moment. I've, uh, over the years, sat on the Finance Committee, the HR Committee, um, the uh, Retail, Marketing, Promotions, Housing Committee, uh, Strategic Committee. So I've done a lot of work with them, and the gist of it is that uh, we're a student-owned uh, bookstore. Uh, we provide affordable housing. So we're a student organization that tries to make student life better. And so I've gotten to do advocacy. I've looked at policy to make sure it uh, is addressing our mission. And so I'm familiar with the organization of that site, how to run it. I've gotten a lot of training over the years. And definitely CSA and GCC are very familiar in terms of financials. And so I feel uh, there's a direct fit between these two. The other experience I have is in the Canadian Forces Primary Reserve, uh, where I was for over four years. And there, I uh, supervised up to 40 people. And I feel this is extremely relevant because the HR No portfolio uh, supervises a lot of the CSA staff as well. And supervising is a very complicated matter. If there's an issue, it uh, should always be addressed right away in an appropriate way. Uh, issues usually arise from misunderstanding and if left to linger, they can become very toxic to the work environment. And once something like that happens, um, people are distracted and they're not necessarily focused on the job they're supposed to be doing. And so I feel my experience in the Canadian Forces, especially with the supervisory experience, uh, has prepared me to do the HRNO portfolio effectively to make sure that everyone in the CSA is uh, working in a good environment where we can focus on the job. Well, first off, specifically, I'm running on the issues of student space, services, and advocacy. Um, these are the main things the CSA is all about, and uh, I think they're probably going to be an issue for the, the foreseeable future. In terms of student space, uh, there's currently a proposal on the board to expand on it. And I feel it's a great initiative because currently in the UC, we're very limited where clubs have to share space and that can be quite frustrating, especially as someone has mentioned, if you are a business-oriented organization and you're sharing with, uh, let's say, a cultural club. And so there's a bit of um, friction there. And so to focus on that, uh, we're looking to expand student space elsewhere. And um, just in general, student space is a place where Students can be empowered to do what they want. It is uh, putting student experience into the student's hands. So that's something I really want to focus on. Uh, services in general, I feel CSA has really good services. It's more of a matter of communicating what they are. Uh, not everyone's aware of what CSA provides. And so I will be looking and doing service audits uh, to see if we're maximizing the value to the students for the money they pay. However, the main focus I will be doing is to find ways of promoting the services and making them relevant to students. As well, I will be looking and continuing to look at what's presently on the table, which is, for example, the SHAC proposal, which is a proposal to merge the HRNO office with the Finance and Legal Resources Room, and uh, as well as the CFS referendum and uh, continued membership with the Canadian Federation of Students. Uh, depending on the results of this referendum, uh, the uh, CSA board, the executive, and the staff will have an interesting year. Like I mentioned.
mentioned, uh, what I would like to do is implement service audits where we look at the CSA services and uh, see if they're doing their best, uh, if uh, they're relevant, and if we can improve on that, and how we can um, create more awareness for them. And as well, I would like to reopen discussion around the HR policy. Um, I feel it's somewhat outdated, but this is something I'd have to do in consultation with just about everybody in the university community, um, because the HR policy will ultimately affect who is going to be getting hired. I feel we have a pretty good HR policy now, where it's fairly f fair and e equitable, but since we do have an anti-oppression mandate and we do seek to um, break down the systematic barriers, uh, we have to continue to improve on it. Well, I think an open door policy is not enough when dealing with 18,000 students. Uh, I would laugh to see 18,000 students come through my door. Definitely the main strategy here is to seek out student opinion and student voice. It's fortunate that the student clubs, which uh, there are over 90 of them, uh, they're right beside the CSA office. And so right there, I have probably the widest array of student interests and student voice and opinions on campus. And I can always uh, come out and talk to them regarding anything I'm doing. And of course, as well, I have to break out of this UC office bubble, which sometimes probably uh, plagues the executive when they stop being a student uh, and they're doing full time work there. You have to come out of the building and go around campus and just talk to people in the library, talk to people in the bullring, and communicate to them things they probably otherwise wouldn't have heard of because not everybody reads the Ontarian, and it's not because people are interested or not, it's more a matter of priority. Uh, everyone's here to focus on different things, whether it's athletics or academics, and we have to keep that in mind. By far, the largest challenge that's ahead of me is not necessarily my portfolio, because I know I'm a good candidate and I will do my best at it, the challenge will come to make the executive work together. This is something that the current executive has done phenomenally well and I hope to do again in this year. Um, we have five different portfolios but at the end of the day we are one executive and we have to make sure that our mission is aligned and that we are not having any friction in terms of all the great ideas that are coming out. And so making sure that uh, the current executive, or sorry, the next year's executive works together and is dynamic like that is something that I really want to focus on. The way I would address this challenge is by holding frequent executive meetings so to make sure that we're always on board and aligned uh, towards the same mission so that our ideas and our portfolios aren't in friction towards what we are trying to accomplish here. I feel that's the most critical thing. If there's ever an issue that arises, we have to be sure to address it right away. Uh, there should never be a misunderstanding between these five uh, portfolios, these are the five main representatives of the student body and like I said, we should always be working together. And if there's anything I'd like to um, leave this interview off on, it's that I'm a community person and I strongly believe in the unity of the student body and our collective power. That's what the Guelph Campus Cooperative is all about and I feel that's what the CSA is about as well. It's about uniting the student body so that we can accomplish more. And I believe something that can start on this campus here today can very much impact the city of Guelph or the province of Ontario or Canada or even the globe. And it may not happen with us next year or in the foreseeable future, but it can happen. It's, it's a reality. It's a, an idea that I strongly believe in. And so I'd like to thank everybody for uh, watching this interview and uh, participating in these elections. I encourage everyone to vote online or by the ballot next week, March 8th through the 12th, and I wish everyone the best of luck in the remainder of the semester.